Good morning, Bath County High School. Today is Thursday, April 19th, and this is BCTV. The BCHS Honors Board Team of the Week is Isabella Kofer. Isabella is the sophomore Miss Ashley Meniere's Honors World History and History of Arts class. Miss Meniere says it's a great honor to recognize Isabella Kofer as this week's Honors Board recipient. Isabella is currently in my Honors World History class as well as the History of the Arts. Isabella is a fabulous student who quietly does her work and completes her assignments purposefully and meticulously. She puts forth great effort, and her grade reflects her work ethic. Isabella says that she has really enjoyed having two classes with Miss Muneer this semester. She says that both classes have been fun because of the way Miss Muneer is able to keep them interesting for the whole class. She says that Miss Muneer is one of her favorite teachers because of her sense of humor and how easy it is to have a conversation with her. Isabella appreciates the value of the information she has learned and knows it will help her in her future. Congratulations, Isabella. It's prom week, which means there's lots of decorating. The prom committee will be decorating for prom this week, Tuesday through Friday. Ms. Workman has sent an email of those list of students who are on the prom committee. Teachers, if you need one of the prom committee students to attend your class, please let Ms. Workman know during study zone on that day. The prom committee students will report to study zone each morning to check in with their teachers and then report to the gym for decorating. A big congratulations goes out to our FBLA chapter. Uh, Ashley Floor placed fourth in sales presentation. Stone Barrett and Kaylin Oldfield placed fourth in business financial plan. They will now compete at the national level in Baltimore, Maryland this summer. Our club members, since there are no more early release days on Wednesdays, our club will return to a usual date and time starting this Wednesday, April 18th. Any student that is interested in running for a class officer for their 18-19 school year, that's next year, you can pick up a class officer informational packet and candidate application form from the Youth Service Center during break. You must turn in your completed application forms to the Youth Service Center before the end of the day on Tuesday, May 1st to be eligible to run. No application forms will be accepted after the end of the day on May 1st. Candidates may campaign from Tuesday, May 1st until the day of their election. All class officer candidates will be required to film a 30-second campaign video sharing with their class why they should be elected. Videos will be filmed May 9th through May 11th. You must schedule your time to record your video with Mr. Ricky Prater in room 112 before May 8th. Uh, video time slots are limited and they will be filled on first come first come basis. Please remember that not everyone can film his or her campaign video on May 11th. Filming of the videos may not be done during study zone or first period. Class elections will be held during study zones on the following schedules. Monday, May 14th, juniors. Tuesday, May 15th, sophomores. Wednesday, May 16th, freshmen and the 8th graders will vote on Wednesday, May 16th while they are at the high school during their graduation practice. Please see Ms. Irwin or Ms. Cindy Kearns in the Youth Service Center if you have any questions about being class officers next year. Beta members, your beta points are due to Ms. Brandenburg by April 20th. If you, have community, if you need community service hour sheets, please see Ms. Brandenburg or, sheets, or the sheets are also available on Google Classroom. Any junior beta members that would like to run for office, please see Ms is Brandenburg. Interview will start Monday 3rd. FFA members, FFA officer applications are due to Mr. Hammonds by Monday, April 23rd. Congratulations to our Bath County High School Symphonic Band for receiving a straight distinguished rating in the KME District 8 Concert Band assignment. Uh, this qualifies the band for a KMEA State Concert assessment. Congratulations to all of our band members for their achievement and congratulations to Mr. Rawlings. In sports, first, there will be a meeting with Coach Lunchford for any girl wishing to play soccer next year, and today, April 19th at 3 o'clock in the cafeteria. Games for this week include track and field complete at Mon Montgomery County this afternoon. Friday, the baseball team travel to Sheldon Clark, while the bass fishing team are on the water at Cave Run Lake. Finally, on Saturday, the baseball team have a home game against Berea. Track and field team compete at Round County, and the bass fishing team are on the, ro on, are on the water at Cave Run Lake for the regional tournament. That's all we've got for today. Have a great day, BCHS, and we'll see you tomorrow.